x and y are positive integers and x squared minus xy minus y squared equal to 1. Find the value of x and y such that y is less than 1000. Okay, so in this problem, one useful way, let me write the equation x squared and take all things to left hand side minus xy minus y squared minus y equal to 0. As you can see, it is a quadratic function in terms of x. And the formula for quadratic function is if ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x is negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if I find x in terms of y here, I can say a is 1 in terms of x quadratic formula, b is negative y, and c is negative y squared minus 1. So x is negative b, which is negative negative y plus minus b squared negative y squared minus 4a times c, which is negative y squared minus 1 all over. 2a. So it will be y plus minus square root of y squared plus 4y squared plus 4 all over 2. And it will be y plus minus 5y squared plus 4 all over 2. So x is this. Now, x is integer, y is integer. So if I, for example, cross multiply, I can say, okay, 2x equal to y plus minus square root of 5y squared plus 4. So if we subtract y from both sides, 2x minus y equal to plus minus square root of 5y squared plus 4. So, left hand side is integer. So, right hand side has to be integer. Now, what can we conclude when square root of 5y squared plus 4 is integer? We can conclude 5y squared plus 4 should be a perfect square. For example, z squared. Now, let's focus on this equation. 5y squared plus 4 equal to z squared. Plus 4 equal to z squared. If I take 4, subtract, let me tell you, negative 5y squared, or take this to right hand side, 4 equal to z squared minus 5y squared. And if we switch, Left hand side and far right hand side, 5y squared equal to 4. Now, we've only switched left hand side and right hand side. It is related to Pell's equation, which is useful also in Olympiads. You should know. We want to find the answers of Pell's equation. Let me tell you the strategy. It's useful in many problems. When you want to solve this problem at first, you should solve it and 5 shouldn't be perfect squared. And it's satisfied in Pell's equation. You should solve at first for 1 and try to find z and y positive integers and the minimum one, smallest one. And it has some factorizing, for example, some form, you minimize that. I don't want to tell complicated solutions, so let's do it together. We should find one answer here and also the minimum answer for negative 5, z squared minus 5, y squared equal to 4, and z and y are positive integers. So here, if you want to find the minimum answer, z equal to, someone says, when we mean minimum answer, z plus y root 5 in both of them should be minimal, okay? So you say z1 doesn't work, z2 doesn't work, z3. 
z equal to 3, 9, and y equal to 1. It is the best answer here, minimum answer. And now, we should also find for 1. If you check z9 is the minimum one works and y equal to 4, it will be 81 minus 5 times 16, which is 80, which is 1. Now, the general form will be this, z plus y root 5. This, you write, is 3 plus root 5 times this one, 9 plus 4 root 5 to the power of n, and n can be any integer greater than or equal 0. And z can be positive negative, y can be positive negative without loss of generality. We can consider z is at least 0. Also, from assumption of, of the problem, y is greater than 0, is positive integer. So, we should check different n and see what we have. So, Let's copy this part and try to solve this. Okay, so the formula was this. You should solve it for 1. And, for example, we find 9 and 4. And then you should solve for 4. It is this. Then, because it is 5, you write this one with the power of 1. And this one with the power of n for each n works. So, let, let's check. Our equation was z squared minus 5y squared equal to 4. So if I rewrite that, z squared minus 5y squared equal to 4. So if n is 0, z is, let me write z plus y root 5 is 3 plus root 5. So z is 3 and y is 1. And we see easily it works. If, for example, n is 1, z plus y root 5 equal to 3 plus root 5 times 9 plus 4 root 5. Now, if you multiply 3 times 9, 27. 3 times 27, 3 times 4 root 5 is 12 root 5. Root 5 times 9 plus 9 root 5. And 4 root 5 times this will be 4 times 5, 20. So it will be 20 plus 27, 47, plus 21, root 5. So in this case, z will be 47, and y will be 21. Okay. It is our second answer. Let's check. Yes. Okay. We know y should be less than 1,000. From assumption of the problem, greater than 0. So we can continue all these y's, our answer, and at the end we check them. For example, let me tell you first one, if I want to check first one is what. So if we go here, let's find our equation. This part, 5y squared plus z. So if I replace it here, z3y1. So z3y1. Now, I want to find x. y will be 1. This part is 3. So, 1 plus 3 minus 3. Because we know x is positive, it should be y plus 3 over 2. Which will be 4 over 2, 1. So, x will be 1. So, x1, y1. I'm oh, sorry, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 over 2, 2. So x2, y1. x2 will be 4 here. Let me change the color. It will be 4 here. x2 here. x2, y1. Minus 2, minus 1. It will be 1. So it is okay. Now we found one answer. So x2, y1. Let's write it here. x2 and y1. Okay, so let's check also second case x is 47, z is 47, y 21, z 47, y 21. If we subtract, it will be negative, so z 47, y, let me erase the answers here. Okay, so z 47, and y is 
21. 21 plus 47 is what? 68. 68 over to 34. And if you replace it, I've replaced here this answer. It works. X 34, Y 21. So let's replace here. X 34. Let me erase this. X 34, Y 21. Our second answer. And 2. Z plus Y root 5 equal to 3 plus root 5 times here. N should be 2. Times 9 plus 4 root 5 squared. So it will be 3 plus root 5. Now this is squared. It's first one is squared. 9 is squared which is 81. Plus second one is squared. 16 times 5. 80. Plus 2 times this times this which is 72 root 5 and it will be 3 plus root 5 times 161 plus 72 root 5 and if you calculate and simplify this it will be 843 plus 377 root 5 so we can say we know it is z it is y Z is 843, Y is 377. If you replace it here, Z is 843 and Y is 377. Now we want to find X and also we should check. So 377 plus minus 843. If you calculate this, it will be 3, 7, 10, 7, 4, 12, and 1, 12. If we divide by 2, it will be 610. And check these two answers, X and Y, here. I've checked and it works. So another answer is this. 3, 7, 7, 610. So X is... 377 and y is 610. I think if we check n3, y will be after n3, and after that, y will be greater than 1000. So let's check z plus y root 5, n is 3 here, equal to 3 plus root 5 times. 9 plus 4 root 5 to the power of 3. So if we calculate this, it will be 3 plus root 5. You should say it is 9 cubed plus 3 times 9 squared plus times 4 root 5 plus 3 times 9 times 4 root 5 squared plus 4 root 5 cubed. Now I want to only calculate y to see is it greater than 1000 or not. y is coefficient of root 5. So 3, this one, multiplied by this. 3 times 3 times 9 squared times 4. If we calculate this, it will be 9, 9 times 9 squared, 9 cubed, which is 7 to 9, and times this. It will be also plus other terms. It will be greater than 1000. So you don't need to check. So if we check all our answers, we had three answers. X2, Y1, X34, Y21, and X377, Y610. Pell's equation can be useful in many Olympiads. We can use in IMO, PMO for Philippine, and also in USIMO, in many Olympiad exams also in other exams. If you want to learn important ideas like Pearl's equation and other things in number theory, combinatorics, algebra, and geometry, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Also, you can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have other solutions, 
comment below this video. Have a great day and bye.